Hey guys, I'm Rohan and here I have an, uh, a new video to show you all the new features in iOS 9 on iPad mini 1. So iPad mini 1 has an A5 chip and it's really old. It doesn't like, it isn't fast, not very fluid. It's sort of laggy there, very laggy. But well, it has the new uh, iOS 9 update and it's fine. It's not, it's better than the iPhone 4s at least. So, the iOS, iOS, sorry, iOS 9 was released not much back, like 5 to 6 days Wednesday in India. And some people were having problems in upgrading to it, but well, that's not what I'm talking about. So, iOS 9 was uh, an update that was really looked forward to by, uh, by the users. So, I'll show you the features in the iPad Mini 1 because iPad Mini 1 is old and it doesn't have all the features. So, see. This is, I'll first um, let you go through the features on the uh, the newer iPad, say the iPad A2. So, um, this picture is not loading. But, here you see that iPad, this is an iPad A2. And so, you are using a picture in picture. So, like if you're facing, um, you're using FaceTime or you're using YouTube, you just press the home button. And the thing goes, the video goes with you. Then we have the split view. So this is a really nice feature in which you are using two apps just at once. So this picture shows that um, this person is using maps and he's using Safari just at once. So he can just scroll through them with two fingers just at once. Which is really cool. The older iPads like the iPad Air, iPad Mini 3 and iPad Mini 2 with the A7 chip don't support this feature. They support this feature. Even though this is an iPad Air 2 but this is slide over. Like you are using the app on the right here and whenever you're done you can just um, get back to, to the app you were using but you can't use them both at the same time so well I'll just show you the fe features in iOS 9 on iPad mini 1 so first we'll see that we have a new sort of new photos app so we have them really aligned new ways like selfies, rhetorica, videos, panoramas, screenshots, etc. So now say that I open this picture and then I want to go back. You'd normally pinch to go back. But in iOS 9, you don't need to do that. You just do this. Just like this. It's easy. And it's really fluid and it's really awesome. Then if you're watching a video. There. So you're watching a video. And it's already zooming. But you can zoom in. Which is really awesome. Like you're zooming through. Like you'd zoom. Like you'd zoom through a photo. Wow this is awesome. Yeah. And so then we can go through the camera app. It's not really new, but we have a new HDR toggle. We can then, yeah, so this is, the, um, I'll just tell you these two features that not supported on this iPad. This thing. So this is a spotlight search like normal. But if you turn on Siri suggestions under spotlight search, on newer devices like the with A6 chips plus like the iPad Air 
आईपैड नाइन आईपैड थ्री आईपैड फोर आईपैड एयर आईपैड ए टू एक्सेट्रा सो यू वुड सी दीज एप्स दैट वुड बी रिकमेंडेड फॉर यू एंड इफ यू स्लाइड हेयर यू विल जस्ट सी एन अदर स्क्रीन दैट वुड बी रियली ऑसम बाय द वे एंड इट विल शो यू द न्यू न्यूज द सजेस्टेड people you should you might you might want to call that's on iPhones and the suggested apps that you might want to use and the uh, like really really new features and but spotlight so suppose this new thing say you want to so what it's called convert something just enter like that and yeah one fact that problem you might face Fahrenheit is minus seventeen point two two degrees Celsius. Yeah, and then say I type something, whatever this is, and then I take my two fingers, put um put them on the keyboard, and there I get a trackpad, and I can use this to like select all this um text, or I can use the to like go to go to some place this is selecting the text and uh, yeah i can just go anywhere in between like this and it's really really cool and it's really helpful then here you might see search web search app store or the search maps in ios 8 you had search wikipedia and search something i don't remember this is the ipad and this feature the trackpad feature is only available on ipad i tried it on iphone 6 plus but it didn't work and then you have the copy paste thing whatever and then in notes notes was supposed to be like really personalized etc but that's not on this ipad the version it's like again a6 chips and plus so you type something and it'll just put it um put the thing in bold so like this just tell you title heading body bulleted list okay so i do bulleted list um yeah whatever and it's really cool it's really helpful and this is this is another good thing jesus this there again no 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 this is like you're making a list and then say that you completed something you tick on it start ticking on it and it's really cool and using the trackpad you can just like go all over the place don't need to be on the yeah that's cool and then on iphone 6 plus or all these devices the new devices you will see new doodling option now doodling is like there would be something um some curvy string or something that would be drawn and then using that you can draw and like it has a scale it has a marker it has a pencil etc i'll just show that to you in my next video on iphone 6 plus so that's notes and it will completely sync with your um jeez yeah with your mac on os xl capitan and uh, os xl capitan is coming like september 30th which is not really far away yeah like 2 weeks or something okay and then those are the main features i guess yeah the new apple news app so it's only available in the united states right now but if you want to get it outside united states you can just go to settings general and then you might want to go to language and region and then region whatever your region is just select united states and it will restart and says 
and then you will get the new Apple News app. So there, four shows, like three eighty six new news. And you can save some news. You can search, explore the other things like New York Times. If you want to like anything, and get updates from anything. Favorites for you? Yeah, three eighty six. And it's really cool. And Apple would be in the near future. Um, doing something that would let you see, um, like leaked information, then that would be uh, totally official, and that would be only some. Hmm. And then, yeah, this is I'm using the iOS 9.1 public beta, and because I had updated it to it earlier. Just like one day before the official iOS nine, so I cannot. I don't know how to downgrade back to. Like I know, but I don't want to lose all my data, etc. And I don't want to, and go back to iOS nine beta and then download the iOS nine official thing. So in iOS nine point one public beta, in beta, yeah, shit, okay, shit. That isn't cool now. So this is the public beta, so there might be some problems like this. We'll just get back easily. So, oh yeah, there we go. And I'll show you the new wallpapers. So where was I? Yeah, the new emojis. Not sure whether I'm. Coming. Yeah, the new emojis. Like you can do this, and just scrolling through all the emojis. There, it's cool. So this, and then you got new emojis. You might see. You got the new middle finger emoji. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Yes, which is cool. Got this, and you can play songs directly from here, which is awesome. Like, say I have cool for the summer, Demi Lovato, whatever her name is, for the summer. Yeah, and I can just click this button, and there I go. The song will start, which is cool. And then you can like directly call people from here. You can text people from here, and FaceTime people from here. That's on iPhone, obviously. I bet the song starts now. Hmm. No. Wait a minute. Yeah, I just can't hear it because I am recording. And that probably should be here. Apple News app, notes, clock, maps, and you got the new San Francisco style, the font. It's different from earlier, and then see, the shift key works now, like it's capital now and it's in lower key now. You can change that in the keyboard settings here. You can search in settings, which is also cool, and you can. Connect the keyboard from this using Bluetooth, and you can just use it, which is cool. Again, display and brightness, wallpapers. These are awesome. Let's choose a new wallpaper. Yeah, there. These new wallpapers. These were old. Yeah, yeah. These are awesome. This. Put some on. Yeah, etc. And then in battery, we don't have this feature again in the iPad Mini One. It was supposed to ask you the um, if you want to go to low power mode. There's this option just above this battery percentage, low power mode. 
where it like boosts one hour battery like it your phone should work like one hour more wait and yeah i think that's it new ios 9 it's awesome and the new passcode you can get it six digit passcode passcode options six digit numeric code and there that's it on this ipad i'll just show you another video i'll upload another video using the iphone 6 plus and i'll show you the new features there thank you and sus subscribe and these are the all the uh, sorry the new features in ios 9 on ipad mini 1 and i'll just show you another new one i just remembered reading thing it's like you have some i'll just show that it was cool okay so there mm that probably probably probably, probably. <sighs> no so there are some pages that you um, have some lines on on the left part over here near the ww the thing on the left there read of you available there so you can just customize this how you want to read it so now i press this aa button and then i can just select the background i want increase the size get different texts whatever and it's really really cool and it's really helpful you'd love it you have new maps i'll just cover that all in the next video thank you subscribe like and please comment below if you have any problems Thank you.